Showtime MP. True ballers. Oh. portion of the season is characterized by a great deal of overreaction Grant. The media and fans build up a lot of expectations in the offseason. And it's not that bad, but when those expectations aren't met, watch out. <laughs> Listen, we all just need to settle down and see how things play out. The season is still very young. And checking out the New Orleans opening lineup. Ingram is the three, with Zion playing the four. And it's Murray, and it's Hawkins, in at the one. And here are the Bulls now. After the basket by New Orleans. Williams passes to MP. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That's his first foul of the game. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. 
Unable to get the ball in bounds. And they got called for a five-second violation. Now Murray. Let's go with a three. And it's MP with a rebound. Well, Grant, you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who doesn't have MP on their short list for greatest player of all time. He's earned that consideration. The skill he plays with, the hardware he's collected, he's got as great a case as any. It's impossible to compare players between eras, but without a doubt, MP has been the best in this era. Here's Hawkins. Just five to shoot. Puts up a three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Yeah, I think Hawkins would live at the arc if he could. He's very confident in that three-point shot. We'll go now to Allie LaForce, who spoke with Billy Donovan. Allie. He said when Zion is healthy and right, you can't really stop him. But you can try to contain him, stop his dribble drive, force him to hit shots over the top of you. Sounds like they're going to try to make him a jump shooter tonight. As always, Allie, we thank you. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now here's Murray. On the take. Over Mitchell. Murray, no good. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. For three. And it's Mitchell. The miss. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. And we know Donovan Mitchell is a superb scorer. But Grant, what do you think he's focused on at this point of his career? Well, B.A., it's all about championships for him. This is a guy that doesn't just want to be seen as an elite player. He really wants to compete for titles, too. From a physical standpoint, you just can't match up with Williamson's power down low. Zion Williamson seems intent on silencing all the doubters moving forward, Grant. Yeah, B.A., he's not taking any more questions about conditioning. His physicality and play really answer that question now. He has been looking better than ever. And Zion, he's just got to do whatever it takes to stay healthy because when this guy is on the floor, he's a difference maker. And if he throws it down. We are all still talking MP's triple-double, Grant. A 60-20-10 game. My goodness. Oh, as if 60 points isn't enough. MP adding in those 20 rebounds, 10 assists. Come on, B.A. That's just not fair. One of those guys who came into the league with great expectations. MP has met those and did so. And we've got a timeout called by Willie Green. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. And a chance to see the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Always fun to see where everyone in the league stands. You look at Toronto, they pulled themselves up to the second place spot. When I look at Chicago, they're one of the top teams because they just play the game the right way. That's what's been clear early on. Mitchell, the pass to MP. Outside Mitchell. Now here's MP. The second effort. And it's good on the layup. MP's got five points. Battling in the paint, MP not letting himself get pushed around. Here's Hawkins. 23 points his last outing. Outside Murray. Fires the three. And it's Chicago with the board. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Outside Morant. Pass to Mitchell. And here's MP. And MP throws it down. And the defense is going to remember this. They might try to make MP pay for it. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And stolen by Williams. To the inside, Moran. First shot won't go. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Now here's Murray. His last outing, he had 18 points. Clock at four. Here's Hawkins. And again, no good by New Orleans. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 10-1 run. Tipped. 
Mitchell, the pass to MP. Here's Buzelis from behind the arc. Oh, clanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. Murray scanning the floor. Pass to Ingram. Over Buzelis. And it's Chicago with a board. MP's got five rebounds in the game. Morant, the pass to MP. Outside Mitchell. Williams from long range. Goes back up. MP no good. Pelicans trail by four. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. The shot by Ingram, no good. Chicago's gone one of four from deep. Three-pointer, Buzelis fires in the triple. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. So it's the Pelicans now. They come into this one following the loss to Minnesota. Yeah, the issue in that one was simple. They didn't hit the glass. They got bullied and outworked. I think you can be a little bit rattled when you lose the physical battle as badly as they did in that game. That could be tough to shake off. So it's a, a matter of getting over those doubts and finding yourself again. And we've got a timeout called by Willie Green. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. Chicago making a switch here. Markadon's checked in. And a change for the Pelicans. Jones, he's checked in for Hawkins. Moran against Murray. Pass to Jones. Moran against Murray. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Morant. And again, New Orleans, no good. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. And Grant, you look at the players the Pelicans have gone after recently. They have a clear plan. Well, they do, B.A. They want to surround Zion with shooters, which, of course, makes sense. It's sort of the same kind of blueprint the Bucks laid out with Giannis. If you can shoot, the Pelicans have a spot for you. Now here's Williamson. Coming off a 28-point game against Minnesota. Here's Ingram. That's short off the rim. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Moran finds Mitchell over Murray. And it's Mitchell that time on the assist by Moran. Mitchell's got his second bucket of the night. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Williamson outside. Murray for three. They get the rebound. Oh, MP with a block. Great understanding by MP. Knew what position to be in. Three-pointer, Buzelis. Count it. Two for four from the field now. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Now here's Murray. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Pass to Jones. Now here's Williamson. Here's Murray. Hounded by Moran. Murray against Moran. They can't stop the run with that one. Well, both him and the team seem to be off their game right now, and the frustration is clearly mounting as the clock is winding down. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Thanks, guys. Well, MP in their last time out against the Hawks was simply terrific. He added 61 points, and he really stuffed that stat sheet for them, ending up with a triple-double. And he had a memorable game. These coaches and fans are still buzzing about it. Just incredible. What's he got for an encore, VA? All right, Ali, thanks for the update. It'll be interesting to see if he can heat up once again tonight, Grant. Yeah, you know he wants to do exactly this, B.A. Just needs to continue to play with the same fire and energy. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. And here's Ingram outside. The rebound by MP. 
MP's got rebound number 11. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Outside for Mitchell. Pass to Moran. This one for three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Misi. Outside Murray. 103 left in the first quarter of the game. Williamson outside. And he lobs it up. Oh, MP with a block. And how about the defensive chops of MP? Coach loves when he steps up like that. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Nurkic just checked in for Chicago. MP's checked in for Nurkic. Williams comes in for Larry Markkinen. And it's Kobe White in for Moran. Hawkins is checked in for New Orleans. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Jones, the pass to Murray. Clark with a screen on White. Murray for three. That gets him on the board. He's one for nine. They've got some ground to make up, and shooting the three ball more consistently, like they are now, should help them do it. And Grant DeJounte Murray, a bit of a throwback player. He's comfortable attacking at all three levels. Yeah, B.A., I mean, he does a lot of work in the mid-range for a guard. He's very comfortable with any shot on the floor. Not shy about putting up a ton of attempts if that's what's needed. Buzelis out there with Williams. Then it's Kobe White, then it's MP, and it's Mitchell in at the two. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And that one misses. Grant, we're starting to see more players throwing alley-oops to themselves off the backboard. Did you ever do that? Uh, in practice, maybe, but although I had some leaping ability early on, I never had the audacity to do it in a real game. Now here's Ingram. 17 points in his last outing. Five to shoot. Jones in the post. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. The paint, that's where Jones likes to live, and that's where he's comfortable. And he can use that length to his advantage. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in. A very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Morant, he's checked in for White. And the Pelicans also making a change. Williamson's checked in. Such a talented player. MP can take over a game, but he also knows how important it is to keep his teammates engaged. Now here's Murray. Pass to Williamson. Outside Ingram. Murray with it. Fires for three. Doesn't go for him. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. MP inside. He's against Murray. And that one drops for him. MP's got seven points here in the quarter. And what a night to remember for MP. Still so young, this guy could have many nights like this in the future. Murray passes to Ingram. Looking to end this cold spell. Deflected! And he gets it back to the paint. Here's Clark. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Patrick Williams. Alright guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bulls? Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. Chicago making a switch here. Markkinen's checked in. And the Pelicans also making a change. Jones is checked in. Pass to MP. Williamson against Williams. And again, no good by New Orleans. And Williams has got the ball here for the Chicago Bulls. From deep, Mitchell. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Markkinen. Stolen by Jones. 
It's an even three-on-three -three break. Here's Hawkins. He has six. And out of bounds will be Chicago ball. Let's look at the top rebounders from last season. MP, number one. And this is someone who loves being aggressive on the glass. He proved it last season with how dominant he was collecting rebounds. Chicago has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. To the middle. Back to Markinen. Six to shoot. The kick out to Williams. Launches a three. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. Uh, great to see developing players like MP saving plays like that. That shows some good off-ball awareness. New Orleans has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Picked by Williamson. Moran against Murray. Here's Clark. It's hauled in by the Bulls. MP's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Throws it up high. And stolen by Williamson. Down low. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Well, I like it when he goes vertical, but I like it when he stays there. How about Zion getting up? Chicago has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Now here's MP, and they double up MP, and yep, it's good. MP's got 11 here in the quarter alone. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Outside Murray. Get the perimeter. On the wing, Jones. Shot clock at six. Clark with a screen on Marketing. Jones. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Morant, the pass to Williams. Morant with a screen on Williamson. And they double up MP. Williams from long range. Connects from downtown. Williams has got five points. But one thing that no team loves is a young, selfish player. Clearly, that's not who MP is. New Orleans calls timeout. Here's Ellis checked in for Chicago. Born on the south side of Chicago, Little Dirt, loving his Bulls right now. Yeah, this city means a lot to him. He pushed through adversity all the way to the top, and his popularity has only grown since. Here's Misi. No points yet. Here's Murray. It's hauled in by the Bulls. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of New Orleans this year. We see these teams face off only twice a year. Last year, each one won. Well, if I had a calendar, I would have circled this one. But I love it when they get together. Last year, they split the two games between them. And I'll bet their battles are just as tightly contested this year. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Brian Donovan Mitchell wears number 45 because that was Michael Jordan's number when he played baseball. Mitchell's father was a pro player, and Donovan said, baseball was my sport. I had my mind made up. I wanted to make the majors, but in high school, a broken wrist on the diamond caused his focus to shift. Brian, I'd say it worked out. Yeah, I'd say so. Thanks, Allie. Now here's MP. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. And here are the Bulls now. And that one's good. Moran. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Back to Murray. Williamson passes to Murray. Now here's Williamson. Just four to shoot. And again, New Orleans no good. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. And stolen by Williamson. Outside Ingram. 
Here's Hawkins, hounded by Moran. Pass to Williamson. With one on the clock. Oh, MP with a block. And so it's MP making things happen for Chicago. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. Back after this. Greetings, everybody. Before we review the first half, let's take an early season peek at how the Western Conference is shaking out so far. You know, for New Orleans, they played below average basketball coming out the gates. They were hoping for more. They were talking a good game in the preseason, but they have not backed it up. Like, you never back anything up, Ernie. Now we'll take a look back at that first half. What an all-around performance it was for the Bulls. So, if you've been around this game, you see the trends. What they're doing tonight, that's how a bunch of teams are being built, playing outside in as a viable approach. If you have guys who can do that. Yeah, they do. This lead didn't happen by accident. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Well, when this game is over and done with, they'll be off to Utah to take on the Jazz. It'll be the fifth meeting of a strenuous seven-game road trip. So the Pelicans five right now. Ingram is the three, with Zion playing the four. And it's Murray, and it's Misi in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Murray. The three is up. Sinks it from distance. Murray's got six. Well, Murray's got the range. It's the consistency he's looking for. Brent, what's something you've seen from Murray's time in San Antonio to now? Well, there's been no stoppage BA of the type of work that DeJounte Murray puts in. Now, he's had to learn a new system, but he's adapted to that, and he continues to play both ends of the floor to make an impact. Chicago's shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. New Orleans is shooting just 28%. Lacking confidence on offense right now. And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into this second half. Uses the glass on the layup. Murray's got his third bucket of the night. Boy, Murray just one of those guys who loves to work it inside. Inside. MP inside. The layup off target. If they're going to go on a run, Grant, there's no better time than right now. You're so right, B.A. I think they definitely expected a closer game than this. Here's Misi. He's scoreless. Murray inside. Check by Mitchell. Murray, no good. Chicago shooting about 47%. A nice number. Morant finds MP. MP is doubled. Shot from 16. And it's Morant missing. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. Pass to Hawkins. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Now Ingram. The three sinks the tray. Ingram's got five now. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. The kick out to Williams. From outside the arc. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. And that's got to be a relief. Finally getting something to go here in the second half. The Pelicans have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. And it's Ja Morant with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. First team foul. Uh, 
A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Williamson passes to Murray. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. Here's Williams. And he banks in the layup. Williams has got five points now this quarter. Dynamic. I mean, every night Morant makes incredible plays, and that extends as well to his passing. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's Buzelis. He's got 11. Back to Moran. Three-pointer. He drops it from range. Give him eight. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Pass to Misi. Murray against Mitchell. Down low. Here's Misi. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. Chicago has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home. And something you'd never like to see, but guys, he definitely looks hurt. Uh, and hopefully it's not as bad as it looks. That would be a big blow for them. Well, looking at his face right there, you can tell he's in a lot of pain, and there's a lot of trepidation right now on that team's sideline. Clark has checked in for the Pelicans. Brandon Clark. Ingram with the ball. He's got five. Clark with the screen. There's the triple. Brandon Ingram. That one's good. Ingram's got six in the quarter. And Ingram really can handle either part of that pick and roll. He can be the screener, and then he can roll, or he can score off it. Nice option. Now here's MP. 19 points in the game. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing, but they seem to be getting more intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. Here's Ingram to the middle. Here's Clark. Oh, -ho! MP with a block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. On the wing, Murray, hounded by Moran. Four on the clock. Murray passes to Hawkins. Over Mitchell. We talk so much about Mitchell's offense, but he can be a lockdown defender as well. Clark against MP. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving. Good shot to great. That's winning basketball. Well, the three-point shot has been absolutely huge for them this entire game. And, and let's be honest, you have to knock down threes to win games these days. Jones, he's checked in for New Orleans. Now here's Ingram. Give him eight points now. Outside Jones. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got his fifth rebound in this one. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. MP against Ingram. Here's MP. And the layup is good off the glass. MP's got seven now in this quarter. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Clark with a screen on Marketing. Ingram, the pass to Clark. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Count it. <laughs> this is all you can do if you're the defense. Levert is excellent at gutting his way through physical coverage. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Murray. Two points. That one goes. Murray's got 10 points. 
It's like he needed that halftime break to gather himself. Now he's starting to get his confidence back here. MP with it. He's picked up by Williamson. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Clark finds Jones. Clark with a screen on white. To the inside. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And they want a second opinion on that call. The signal for the coach's challenge has been made. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal fouls. There's no doubt there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look. So the officials can be sure. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups, so maybe just a step too far. Now here's MP. He's got 25. Marketing for three. Rebounded by Ingram. New Orleans calls timeout. And Brandon Ingram was the key piece of the Anthony Davis trade. That move changed his career, Brad. No doubt about it. B.I. won the most improved player of the year in his first season away from the Lakers. So sometimes that change of scenery can open up opportunity and get you a chance to show your excellence. And New Orleans making a change here. Allen's checked in. Now here's Ingram. Give him eight points now. Back to Clark. Clark with a screen on white. Murray from outside. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got six rebounds now in the game. White, the pass to Nurkic. Here's MP. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Pass to Murray. Williamson with it. Two minutes. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Williamson's got seven points in the game. Inside Zion, just a monster. He could go over or through opposition. Here's MP. Soft touch off the glass. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. Pass to Allen. Driving in. He blocks it again. Swatty shots away with ferocity. He is not messing around in this one. Count that bucket. White's got his third basket of the night. They have no answer defensively inside. And here's Clark. Williamson looking around. Pass to Murray. Takes the three. He's off on that one. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. To the paint. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. Well, MP with fingerprints all over this one, just dominating in effortless fashion right now. The Pelicans shooting a low 29% since halftime. Outside Murray. Pass to Williamson. Five on the clock. There's the three. And it's Murray with the three. 13 points in the game. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Murray against White. Here's MP. Banked it in off the glass. MP's got 13 points here in the second half alone. MP making his presence felt inside. They like him to get his points in tight. Here's Murray. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's the Chicago Bulls destroying the competition as they end the quarter with a colossal 40-point lead.
Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. We'll be right back with you shortly. Head coach Billy Donovan is mic'd up along the sidelines. Let's check it out. Exert yourself by being disciplined and focused on the right stuff. All right, good job. Oh, let's go. Checked in for Chicago. Oladipo comes in for Levert. Zion Williamson is checked in for New Orleans. Brandon Ingram comes in for Murray. Williamson against Markinen. Williamson passes to Ingram. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Williamson finds Ingram. Clock at six. Shot on the wing. Chicago grabs the miss. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. And we've got a report now. Let's find out the news on Herb Jones. Hey, guys, the head athletic trainer for New Orleans provided some info for us. He said they're concerned this is a serious injury and it's going to keep him out of the rotation. Any injury is the last thing you want this early in the year. A bad break for them, Brian. All right, that's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him. And now we have some more clarity, guys. Yeah, they now have all the information they need in order to determine the next steps. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. They've got Max Struess. Victor Oladipo is out there with Kobe White. Then it's Laurie Markkinen, and it's MP in at the center position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And he makes it. Yeah, I think the kids call that weight room points from MP. For New Orleans, they've gone five of 11 so far in the fourth. Pass to Williamson. Drops in the layup off the glass. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. White, the pass to MP. Now marketing. Back to MP. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Williamson's got a six rebound on the night. Marketing misses. Trying to close out. You got to know who's hot and who's not. The three is up. And there's White. That's good on the assist by MP. Yeah, nice pass by MP. You know, he knows how to run an offense. Ingram, the pass to Allen. And you see player training methods, Grant, a lot more than just running and getting shots up. And you know, B.A., what interests me, players not just training their bodies better than ever, but also their minds. They're working on hand-eye coordination drills and just all kinds of stuff to enhance their reflexes. Now here's Markkinen. Here's MP. Pass to Oladipo. Three-pointer. Offensive board. That one falls. MP's got 37. Well, how about the hustle? MP not afraid to get in there and do the dirty work. Here's Hawkins. To the middle. Here's Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. So awesome to see Zion healthy and showing off that elite athleticism. Outside Struess. Pass to MP. To the inside, kicks it out to Markkinen. The three-pointer off the mark. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. Hawkins, the pass to Green. Here's Hawkins. And it falls all over the rim and in. And Chicago has possession. Pass to MP. Marketed from long range. Good. And the assist goes to MP. MP's got six assists now in the game. 
Now here's Green. Allen with it. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. Marketing the pass to MP. MP is doubled. Outside White. Another three for Chicago. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Now here's Williamson. Again with the block. Oh, you can't throw the weak sauce around him. No, you can't, B.A. I mean, he's sending everything back. Pass to MP. Well, you look at the so-called super teams that have been assembled in recent years. A lot of cautionary tales. Yeah, I mean, teams giving up their draft picks for the better part of a decade to bring in a star. It can get ugly really fast if things don't work out. Allen, the pass to Williamson. Over Marketing. And that one hits the back iron. Well, Chicago's shooting pretty well in the fourth at 48%. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Bulls. They made a point to get some good looks. Yes, they were able to pound the ball inside. I love it. And they'll chalk this up as their third win of the year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for MP. The scoring effort from him, unreal. Carrying this team, I mean, he was amazing tonight. Now here's MP. And MP throws it down. You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Here's Williamson. Chicago making their last shot, looking to win the run. Oh, and the big finish by Williamson. Yeah, it looks like Zion's got the stage all to himself there, just tearing down the rim. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam, capturing the moment. Outside Struess. Oladipo finds MP. MP is doubled. Outside Struess. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going fully on display here. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. We saw Keep it up, MP. Keep chopping wood. Good win. Let's keep it going.